Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Game On, where we're just always gaming on. I'm Lucky and we got more Dragon's Dog with Dark Arisen for you. Get that plugged in there. So, last episode, we traveled north to Hillfigure Knoll, found the old Dragonborn, wait, sorry, Skyrim. <laughs> Found the old Arisen, <clears throat> and some kind of younger Arisen that was with him. Uh, I don't know the younger guy's story, I can't remember. But the older guy was one of the <clears throat> chosen Arisen. And then fell out of grace with the dragon or something like that, I have no idea. Uh, but we basically ran out there as part of a quest for the main story. And then we had to come back and report that we had gone there. <clears throat> it didn't really tell us anything about the main story. Now let's look at what we've got going on here for equipment and all this stuff. We're going to go do another one of the quests from the knight outside of the castle gate. He has two more main story quests for us. And we have to do those before we can progress the story here. So, character's looking pretty fly. Got some raggedy breeches on and some badass armor. Let's see here. Then there's Max. Just plain old Max. Yep. All right, level 16 though. Yeah, so like I said, your pawns, the <clears throat> only your main pawn scales with you, the other pawns don't. So we have to eventually pick up a couple more pawns that are our level, because five's a little under level. No surprise. I fear great expectation. You seen the sword like the one. I yeah. pick any you like. Well, it looks like we could change vocation right now. So that's pretty cool, but we don't want to change that, I don't think. But when we do, I think I'm gonna change to Magic Archer. I was a Mystic Knight the last time. So, Come again, so I wanna max out the Archer first though. Well, let me think about this for a second, guys. So, I fear you should have your pick, any you like. I think I'm gonna switch right now. Because otherwise I'm just kinda of, assassin would be cool too. I mean it's good with everything, basically. Sword, dagger, shield, and bow. But Magic Archer, dag daggers, staff. The staff is a big one, because magic in this game is the most OP thing. So we're gonna switch to the magic archer. And we're gonna have to change our equipment, I suppose. So I can't use that bow, we can use those daggers. We can use that, and that's some of the best armor in the game, but I just don't want to wear that. None outfit looks cool. <laughs> what happens if we put this on? On with this. 207, now we'll see what all these are at here. Yeah, see, the Queen's is such a good outfit. It's the best in the game, I think. And that's the DLC content from Bitter Black Isle. Hmm. A wavering cloth. <laughs> I don't want to wear that silly outfit either. You know, looks are important. Characters gotta have the right style. Re-equip those, those are pretty good. Two fifty two, fifty five, fifty eight. 73. Holy cow. These are 280. Okay. We'll just put that on right away and we'll see here. 285, 284. Yeah, well, that's definitely the best thing to buy ways. So now we'll get the baleful nails because we can equip those as well as. Which one was for the. Oh, I sold the one that was for the... Okay, well, anyways. Fighting wind, cutting wind. Because I sold the one that was for the mage in the very beginning for money. Have your pick. Any you like. What will it be today? Sunburst. Aerial somersault into a dive that plunges both blades into the earth and channels a pillar of magic flame that erupts directly ahead. That sounds so cool. Let's get that. Brazil. Ice damage. 
Levine, lightning damage. Seeker bolt. Oh, don't tell me what. The fire's magical arrows that seek out their targets. Up to five foes can be targeted at once. Yep. Sign me up for that. And then some. <clears throat> Engrave. Broad ranged flurry of dagger blows punctuated with a fierce kick. Round delay. Performs a swift and deadly double strike forward, topped off with a whirling slash. Okay. And. Hi, Levin. Hi, Levine. Because we have Levin, right? Yeah. So we might as well get the upgraded version of it. Generates a towering wall of flame, though only modest in power. It ignites adversaries with ease. Although, the higher version of this is really powerful. We're going to get that. Frigor generates a giant spire of ice that can serve as a stepping stone. <gasps> really? Oh my god, we're going to get that too. Rontide conjures a whip-like bolt of lightning capable of damaging foes. I've used that before. It's pretty cool. Sends forth, <clears throat> excuse me, grapnel. Sends forth tendrils of dark energy that can bind a foe for a time. Silentium invokes a magical aura around the user that silences foes who enter. This one blinds foes who enter. Got that one. Fire boon, ice boon, thunder boon, holy boon. Holy affinity. Advanced form of holy boon that augments the enchanter's weapon as well as the recipient's magic. Yep, we'll upgrade that. <clears throat> Focus bolt. Focuses the user's active enchantment into a powerful burst that can be fired from the ground or air. Huh. Magic agent conjures spheres of magic energy around the user to attack encroaching foes, also employable for midair. That's a really good one, guys. Okay, we've read those ones. I think we're going to go with the magic agent. That sounds OP. be to this so that one that's a magic agent that must be just a passive skill put sunburst on circle we'll get frenzy we'll get oops 11 magic bow it's gonna get secret bolt and I don't think there's anything else to put on. Okay. Who will it be today? Have your pick. Any you like. Come again soon. We're ready to rock and roll. Awesome, guys. So we can I carry a staff. It offers a clean bed, but it deals in vocations and skills besides. But we need a new bow, and we need a staff, since we can carry both of them right now. Me, I've no love of magic and its kind. Iron and steel home to an edge. That's all a man really needs. That's right. The master works all he can. The throat cutters, of course, those are nice. Ironclad. Game crutch. Okay, we'll get one of those. We'll get one of the favorite flower, and we'll get one of the stilettos. Okay, our biggest purchase yet, guys. Forty-one thousand gold. How much are we gonna have left? Two hundred eighty thousand. Shoot, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it. Yeah, that's the only thing. You can't equip the staff and the daggers at the same time. I hope with Dragon's Dogma 2, we get to. Make sure we put our TR on. Okay. The master works all you thought. 
Uh-huh. Oh, so oh. oh pleasure. We don't deal. We're in honest. Oi, they're more. Take all the time you like. We gotta drop some stuff off. <clears throat> you can never have enough potent green wash or mushrooms in this game. Take all the time you like. Do come again. Well, I've already taken enough time. I got what I wanted. Let's go drop some stuff off here. We don't need to be carrying all this. I feel you seem to have your pick. A new life. What will it be today? Uh, and we're still at 47. That's not. That's still a lot of weight. I mean, we're a totally different uh, weight class now. But oh, I forgot the double jump, guys. Remember, we got double jump. Borderline coolest get move in the game. So let's go talk to Sir Maximilian. Who among? Shucks. Oh, shucks. We can't walk up the stairs straight. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Clumsy me. It will be my honor to show you the ready. The choice is yours, certainly. Then here are the details. All right, we got the goblins to get out. Are you prepared to leave for the fortress? Those damnable goblins are good for a fair piece of trouble, no question. But we must have that hold back. So, we got the quest to go <clears throat> take back Fortress Besiege, which is the Travel to the Stone of the Southwest and join a force sent to recapture the hold. The Stone of the Southwest. Where... Do I not select that quest? Yeah, there we go. It's because I didn't have it selected. There it is. Okay. Oh, we're gonna waypoint it. I think, I don't know, I think it's closer to go from Grand Soren straight to it than go to Casardis. What's inside? Best we make for the stone of the Southwest. The road to the Southwest hold is long and unfamiliar. <laughs> We best hire on a guide. It is also advisable to bring along a pawn well familiar with the room. You hear that? He just gave us some really good advice about hiring a pawn that's been there before. It is usually more lively. Okay, so here's we're kind of in the server area. Let's see who we have. Hello. Oh, you're awesome. You're level 21. You? Yeah, we'll list you. You're you stronger. Take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. Get rid of this horse. I am honored. <clears throat> Gift you with cold ore. I'd hope to serve you. May our paths. I don't ever get any messages from other pawns. That's in, that's interesting to me. So this is the pawn Ooh. guild. Hello. To the same exact character. Can I help you? Then I bid you farewell. They're pretty cool. Hello. Can I help you? <laughs> They've all got the same exact. 
And I bid you fail. Yeah, it's an exact dialogue. I don't know. I, f I think I've with the guild, sir. Hello. My Can I help you? Sure. Just because he sounds different. You cannot different. take on any more followers without releasing one of your current companions. I am... No. You have a knife. He gets a three all across the board. I'd hope to... May I pass? You're a pretty cool looking mage, actually. Hello. Can I help you? Then I bid you. Oh, getting tired of hearing that. So, let's get out of here. And we're gonna start on our mission. See if we can make it to the stone of the southeast. Or the southwest, I can't remember what they said. Madeline. We get weak on curatives and other supplies the for our journey. Stone of the Southwest. Here. A place one can live without fear of monsters. I just love that double jump. I could jump all day. This way leads on to the encampment. It's actually a good looking double jump, you know. There's a freight convoy not far from here. Uh oh, I'm going to join them. Let's get on it. Speaking of goblins, here we go. Stamina up because all of a sudden he's gonna pull some wild ass move. Yeah, so it's a great thing, guys. Get around. Quick! Oh god. While it's enraged! What's this? Strike! A force flies higher! It's over! Get out of here. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, that was crazy. Let's see what these guys have to say about it. Oh, they're all dead. They didn't make it. Who knows what lies in wait? Best proceed with caution. Okay. Well, it's buggy. Still had fight music going on there. Seems all roads lead to Grand Soren. It's like Rome. So, <clears throat> nighttime's gonna be a little more dangerous. But we got a pretty good party, I feel pretty Grand confident. Sword stands beyond this way past. Keep an eye turned to the shadows. <laughs> Devouring stamina. You hear that? I'll come to your rescue as often as it takes. Yeah. I don't know if she's trying to be funny or what. Huh. You hear him say that? They don't like fire or ice. It seems we've won. Careful! I got them! Look, he's here! The canyon floor is an apt spot to find ourselves surrounded. We'd best be careful. Do not just attack blindly. Their kind hates ice and fire both! <laughs> 
Seems we've won. We're near half between the encampment and the capital, I warrant. The roads are comparatively safe and free of monsters. This place must have seen a ferocious battle. <laughs> ferocious battle. So we're going the right way still. Well, there's two ways to go through. We can go down that way, which looks faster, and then up. <coughs> That's what we're going to do. Hold on. Hold on. He's got such a deep, strong voice. Is it this way? Nope. I think so. Yeah, we can go that way, actually. It's almost like a shortcut. There's basically be some kind of monsters up there. Runs the canyon. Okay, I'll stop making you guys watch this in the dark. Wary. Moon's bit pass. Kill them all! There you go. Bandits are risen. Yeah, of course they are. I'll take it. Counter after this fight. Oh man, he interrupted me. That was like some anime stuff. That's okay, now get behind you, just sever that. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that firewall move is burly. Wow, there's still a bunch of them. Oh. Double that. Exposed after a glance right. Armed road. Boom. They attack in quick succession. Alright. This ends it. Got him. Good job, guys. It seems we've won. He likes that ice move. Frazzle. He uses that a lot. Leave it to me. It's a coin pouch. Visibility is poor. Stay on guard. Sure is poor. Whoops, I want equipment. Uneven footing. Watch your step. We're going the right way here. Yeah, we're going the right way. It's like Lord of the Rings with no snow. Ain't gonna wait through the mountain. Hey, who are you? There must be more better. Oh yeah. Look at that. Slay the captain. Free the prisoners. Okay. Well, I got the hammer. Oh, we're gonna tear these guys down. They're super weak. What's this? Knocking them all down, man. Yeah, that's a great move for the harpies. It sets them all on the ground. Look at that. We're gonna close the gap. Just back to the can with as many of them as we can. Finish them off. Now we're gonna rinse and repeat. Oh, that's a great combo for fighting harpies, yeah? Take down a whole group of them, literally. And then we're gonna rush in. Oh gosh, we're running out of stamina. Fire Finish them off. Boom. We finished the harpy quest right there. That was kill, I don't know how many harpies, but we did it. Pretty easy, we we're always gonna be able to do that. Now I'm confused. I'm in the dark and I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, we went the wrong way. Well, we came up here to kill those guys just because it was cool. It is no surprise, of course, that many a bandit lurks here as well. 
The land here is meager, unfit to sustain trees. It is pretty rocky and barren. So this is where we took the escort quest through. This is where we started off with it. I think I needed to go up to the other left, though. Nah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think we're... I don't know if we can get there from this side. Let's see. <clears throat> Honestly, forget all this. It's been so long. Holds like this one are too warrior. One slip and it's a long fall down. Good advice. What is Cap Dave? I'd not like to attempt that fall. Ah. Okay, there's a little thing to mine up here. Cart. What else was there? Nothing. Okay, let's go. gotta get to the other side then. guys are finding stones all over the place and rocks. I'm trying to find monsters, save princesses, rescue the realm. You guys are picking up rocks. Wasted inventory space. <clears throat> They're simple ponds. Quite the grand structure. Awaken some Okay, this is where it's gonna start getting hard. A warrior, his weapons. I hear running water. A river. Plants of all kinds grow at the tree's feet. Yeah, we get some mushrooms here for stamina. To have found you. Yeah. Found my foot your ass here. Come here. Prepare yourself, goblin. Three in a row. One. Oh man, that's that's that is very good. You gotta be in a little bit of a good position here. Maybe the uh, upgraded version is better because it covers a bigger area. Slicing and dicing. It seems we've won. <coughs> Numbers are risen. Spawn? What the hell? Oh, because it's nighttime. So that's what makes it so dangerous at night, because they respawn so fast. I'm missing something here. I'm confused on how to get over there. I guess I gotta go up in there. That's the only thing I can think of.
pretty flower. I think it's called Moon Glow. We got a couple of fish out of it, I guess. Oh, so if you carry multiple lanterns and you get one wet, you can bust the other one out, guys. Yeah. Oh. Soaked to the bone. No. So there's nothing up here, and we just lost both our lanterns. God dang. Shoot. Well, with that. I think we're gonna end this episode. We come back, we'll continue our search for how to get over there. If anybody has any idea, leave me a comment, because I forget honestly and obviously. And I will look for the comment, see if we can't figure it out. We got some more stamina fish. If you lose your way, you need but consult your map. Oh god, that's death, I guarantee it. Is that the way out? No, that's not the way out. Hardcore, hardcore. Okay. We'll see you guys in the next episode of Running in the Dark with Lucky. Look at the stars. It does look pretty cool. Channel's game on. Game's Dragon's Dogma. Dark Horizon, it's been awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Game On, where we're just always gaming on. I'm Lucky and we got more Dragon's Dogma, Dark Horizon for you. Get that plugged in there. So, last episode, we travel north to Hillfager Knoll found the old Dragonborn. Wait, sorry, Skyrim. <laughs> found the old Arisen <clears throat> and some kind of younger Arisen that was with him. Uh, I don't know the younger guy's story, I can't remember. But the older guy was one of the <clears throat> chosen Arisen and then fell out of grace with the dragon or something like that. I have no idea. Uh, but we basically ran out there as part of a quest for the main story. And then we had to come back and report that we had gone there. <clears throat> it didn't really tell us anything about the main story.